It took the contractors two months to prepare for what they call the blowdown. The supporting columns of eight tower blocks were weakened and drilled. Half a ton of dynamite was put in the holes attached to six and a half thousand detonators. The concrete walls were embroidered with wires until the whole estate was connected by one huge spider's web. Well, we don't actually try and blow the buildings up. Uh, that's probably the wrong term. What we do is we, we weaken the buildings and we use explosives to make them collapse. This morning, 80 houses nearby were evacuated and the residents joined the media looking over the doomed estate. On the roof of one of the four blocks to be saved, the demolition men prepared to start the blast. Eight, seven, it all went according to plan. 492 flats in eight blocks were turned into dust and rubble in eight seconds. This is how it looked from a different angle. The contractors claim it's the biggest single demolition job ever carried out. Within a minute, a huge area around the site was covered by a dense black cloud. We're about half a mile away from the explosion, which happened about three minutes earlier. And you can see the air's full of dust and the smell of explosives. You can hardly see at all. The sun's actually been blacked out. Salford has one of the highest proportions of tower blocks in Europe. One sixth of them disappeared today. Eventually, 483 private houses and flats will be built here. David Rose, ITN, Salford.